What's this? A mouse wielding a god weapon? Now I've seen it all. Very well. Show me your strength. Amuse me. Uh, I rage. You're no predator. You're nothing but an overfed fuzzball. Bold words for a morning snack. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Impressive. But it takes more than that to hurt a tiger. Oh, shit. That's a gnome. Oh, no. Huh? Whoa, is that a mouse? A mouse knight fighting tiger? Oh, ye <laughs> fucking owned. This sword is heavy as anything. How did the mouse knight even swing it? Ow. Oh, grand. You're not dead. Steady on your feet now. Are you hurt? Don't touch that. My god weapon. I'll even do a six spin for no reason in particular. I'm fine. Whoa, he's the real deal. Pardon? I saw you going paw to claw against Tiger. Blow for blow. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Well, until he sent you flying, that is. I had to drag you here before he gobbled you up. It was a close call. You dragged me here? Where is here exactly? Oh, right. Hold on. Now being kidnapped. By the mole people. Cranbale. Their burrows are deep. Their convictions deeper. This is Cranbale? The Sanctuary of Knowledge? It is. Welcome, welcome. I'm Siobhan, daughter of Lady Gilda. She's the head of the village. Oh, you should come meet her. Mammy doesn't normally like visitors, but you're something special. Fine, fine. I have a question for her anyway. Lead the way. Alright, let's go. That old tiger is a great piece of work. Can't be doing anything when he's on the prowl. Welcome, welcome. Ah, an outsider. Welcome to Tulia's. Take a gander at what's in stock. I shall. Sturdy mushroom leather boots. They do not look comfy. Ah, uh, you can make mush mushroom leather? That's kind of cool. Pickaxes. You have no need for them. Yeah, we ain't mind crafting. It's a hefty cauldron. You have no need for this. Rolls of linen and fabric. Are these mole or god made? I mean, excellent work on the moles if they can make something that looks godlike. So what'll it be? I need a sword capable of killing titans and gods. I see. Double-edged, solid steel, is it? Sure, but I'll settle for iron. Fella. Look around yourself. This shop sells bits and bobs for the humble people of Cranbale. Cooking ware, mining equipment, linens and such. This isn't a royal armor, you idiot. Well, do you have anything I can use? I can do your repair of high-quality mole-made boots. Good for hiking or mining, and only five seeds. That's a fair price now, isn't it? What do you say? Five seeds for these boots? Yeah, that's a deal. Sounds good. I'll take them. Grand. You received a pair of mole boots. Try to stay out of mischief. This village has seen enough adventure. Um. Let's see then. Mole boots. Okay, I mean, this is better. Tin toad for safety. Yeah, that sounds good. Where did Siobhan go? Okay, Siobhan went that way, so I want to avoid Siobhan at all cost. Oh, hello. I can't play. My mom on it says it's not safe out there. Fair. We found a roll of bandages. Alright. I guess I'll just steal. 
<laughs> I mean, I don't wanna, but I guess I will. Um, so is that an equip? Soften absorbent, heals eight and stops bleeding. Yeah, I'll put that on. The crown is happy to take our seed for taxes, but where's their support when we need it, eh? Relatable. It's a tin statue of a mole dressed in humble robes. The plaque reads, A rodent's life is short, a written story is eternal. Lord Master Tobin, founder of Cranbale Library. Lord Master Tobin studies quietly. Save your game? Uh, not quite right now. I'll save it soon. Dear Ruth, I hope all's well in, at the Nook. I wanted to pay a visit for the young king's coronation, but alas, Cranbale needs its librarian. Can I be something? Ah, uh, the Yellow God. Would you happen to have any books on the Yellow God? I can't say I've heard of such a thing. But in any case, we don't specialize in God studies here. Our collection is mostly historical and religious texts. Books on the old way, documents on the legacy of the Shrew Empire, that sort of thing. That's no good to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess we're just reading their, reading their letter. I've heard many great things about Cranbell's library. It's actually why I came here. Mm-hmm. We do take pride in our literacy here. But you came at a bad time. The library is but a shadow of what it once was. First, our best scholars migrated to Merida for better opportunities. Then that accursed Philidae arrived and gobbled up half the village. All I can do now is manage the knowledge that remains. That's a shame. Mm hmm? <laughs> Just mm hmm? You see a book titled The Rights of Masters by Lord Master Sylvia. Now I'll read it. As personal bodyguards to lords, ladies, kings, and queens, blade masters are required to be loyal, chivalrous, and of course, exceptional in combat. In contrast, a lore master serves their liege by offering wisdom gained from two whole seasons of study at a licensed university. Larger cities often employ a variety of other masters to serve as advisors. Plague masters oversee the health of a colony. Seed masters manage the city's treasury. Build masters specialize in urban planning. Of course, all this fine counsel is irrelevant if a liege refuses to listen, as is often the case. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, is this a different one? The Old Way. It looks hefty. I will read it. To follow the path of the Old Way, thou must abide by three laws. Thou shalt not harm a god. Well, that's one thing I'm trying to do, so I guess I'm failing this already. Thou shalt avoid the god's gaze. Well, it's already failed, because I did that earlier. Thou shalt not toy with a god's tool. So basically, Verm has broken the, the whole rule and law of the Old Way. Obey these laws, and Rodent and God may live peacefully, side by side, as they have done for thousands of years. Disobey the, these laws, and the gods will punish us with a fire and suffering. I mean, it's kind of true, actually, if you think about it. You see a book titled The Pact of Five by Lord Master Tobin. Ah, I've seen his statue. Following the massacre on the Eastern Mire, Emperor Marcus wrote The Pact of Five. This legal document granted Rodentian citizenship to five key species. Rats, moles, mice, shrews, and squirrels. Carnivores are explicitly excluded. Even now, long after the fall of the Shrew Empire and the rise of the Rat Monarchy, the pact is held as sacrosanct, forming the basis of modern rodent law, Rodentian law. You see a book titled Wholesome Mouse Recipes by Jan Olive. I will read it. Sweet Seed Biscuit. Serves four or just one really hungry mouse. <laughs> Ingredients, one acorn cup of flour, one pao mashed banana, one ground seed, a sprinkle of cinnamon. Directions, mix the ingredients, spread over a greased baking coin, cook over candle flame for three minutes or until firm, eat warm or cool. That sounds pretty good. I think I read that before in the demo and I, I kind of think I wanted to try it. Like, not like it'd be hard to do, it, it should be pretty easy. I'm just trying to think how I'd get like an acorn cup of flour. Oh, wait. Oh no, I just need like an acorn, I, I guess, and make it into a cup. That's not, that's not too bad, I guess. Pot or mashed banana. I mean, I guess I could just do this in real life with like human ingredients, like human sizes. See a gold trimmed book titled The Fables of Hussein. 
A young viper found herself stranded on the bank of a great river. After slithering for a while, she encountered a raven. I would be most grateful, said the viper, if you would fly me across the water. The raven squinted at the fanged worm before him. You're not going to bite me, are you? I wouldn't dream of such a thing, the viper replied. Her forked tongue flicked back and forth. Against his better judgment, the raven agreed. He picked up the viper in his talons, spread his wings, and flew skyward. Soon enough, the two landed on the other side of the river, safe and unharmed. The viper bowed in thanks. Hold up, said the raven. Why didn't you bite me? You had every opportunity. Isn't biting in your nature? The viper smiled. In all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. Now, I don't know if that's a reference to something. I feel like that, that kind of flies over my head, if I'm being honest. I guess it's just kind of trying to imply that even though one could assume um, a viper would bite based on its nature, that not every creature follows its nature, maybe. So maybe that's going to imply something for later in the game? I'm not too sure, but I'm really curious. The books in this case are old and tattered. You try to read one. Read one. But the pages crumble between your fingers. Oh, we just ruined their books. These books have been written in illuminated mole script. They're beautiful, but you cannot understand the writing. Understandable. Okay, now I will save. Your game has been saved. Uh, what's in here? Oh, an old man mole. You look like a sturdy lad. You're a warrior, are you not? I am. I knew it. You have those warrior eyes. I was a fighter in my youth, too. I'll have you know. A member of Merida's Thimble Guard and all. I'm sure you were. Ha! Don't give me lip, lad. I may be past my prime, but I've had more fights than you've had dinners. I've got years of battle-tested wisdom to offer. Yeah, do tell. Go on, then. What's the key? Weaknesses. Everyone has a weakness. If you use the right type of attack, you can exploit it. The right type of attack. Ah, you really are young. Let's see how... Uh, let's see. How can I put this? There are four kinds. You've got your slashing attacks. That's swords and such. Then there's your bashing attacks. Hammers and blunt instruments. Spears and pikes give you piercing attacks. And the fourth kind is... Huh? Is... Uh... Special attacks, like fire or water or whatever. You're making this up as you go, aren't you? Oh, shut your bake. The system is famous. Everyone has a weakness. Find and exploit it. Now, what about cats? So what's the weakness of a Philidae? Heh, <laughs> you're talking about Tiger. Wish I knew. I've seen more warriors slash, bash, and stab that kitty, but his fur is just too damn thick. No, if someone wanted to take that monster down... They would have to do something truly special. It's a mouse sword. The blade is dull, but the fleur as sink points on the pommel shine bright. You see a book titled Miss Molly's Book of Merry Melodies. Melodies, sure. Bleeding. When cut, a rodent bleeds. Small cuts will heal on their own, but large cuts may cause severe blood loss over time. Cure. Treat heavy bleeding with bandages as soon as possible. Stunned. A rodent who has been afflicted by the toxic venom of some foul creature may find themselves unable to move at all. Cure. Stunning tends to cure itself over time once the venom has left the body. Berserk. A rodent who is enraged will lash out with doubled fervor. Cure. A berserk individual will eventually calm down. Sessions with a therapist may alleviate future outbursts. Okay, that's funny. Tipsiness. A rodent who drinks alcohol may become tipsy. I mean, that's often why we do it but a tipsy rodent will become most unreliable. If needs, or a cure, if needs must, drink an espresso. I do like, see, this gives me very older video game kind of vibes too. Uh, I, I can't think of any in particular that would uh, kind of fall in this category, but I'm pretty sure a lot of older adventure games, well, not adventure games, but a lot of older RPGs, uh, kind of very similar to Small Saga would kind of stash like uh, the instructions away in like a, 
like a book in the game, like just something to kind of explain in lore, like why how certain things would work or like controls or stuff. I always kind of enjoyed that. Smells like worm and nettle stew. Hearty mold cuisine. Like I said, to defeat a Philidae, a warrior would need something truly special. Alright, onwards. I guess we'll go to Siobhan then. You found two seeds behind the rock! Oh my god, yes. Exactly what I needed. This is the council room. Ready to go in? I suppose if I must. Siobhan, shouldn't you be studying? Who is this outsider? Oh yes, introductions. That's Lord Master Morvan on the left. Blade Master Nemain, the Hedge Knight, on the right. I like me, looks cool. And Mammy, I mean Lady Gilda of Cranvale, in the middle. Mammy, this is uh I didn't get your name. Verm. Right, Sir Verm. Sir. I'm not a knight. Really? Huh. Anyway, Mammy, I saw this guy fighting Tiger. He was swinging around a god weapon like nobody's business. That stupid cat had no idea what he was dealing with. I think this guy might actually be able to... Calm yourself, young lady. So, sorry, Mammy. So is Mammy like a dialect kind of thing? Because I know this takes Because I know this takes place in the UK. And I know for a fact later on you do have some characters with like a Scottish accent and stuff. So I, I wonder if that's like a dialect? I don't know which one, but I, I wonder if that's some kind of dialect. Mouse, you fought the Philidae with a god weapon? Um, I don't know, actually. Like, it, it goes against their religion to do exactly what I'm doing. So I guess I apologize. I apologize if I've broken your customs. No offense was intended. Your intentions are moot. To fight a god's pet with a god's weapon. This is sacrilege. Sacrilege of the worst kind. Oh, he looks so mad. Holy crap, look at that. In accordance with the laws of the old way, a punishment is in order, my lady. Want me to put him in the stockade? Try it, Pinecone. See what happens. Everyone, quiet. This mouse is a visitor. He is not bound by our local customs. Yeah, that's right. We won't punish you, Mouse, but we won't help you either. Do whatever it is you came to do and then take your leave. Fine. I didn't plan on sticking around anyway. But before I go, I need some information. I'm looking for the one known as the Yellow God. The Yellow God? I'm afraid we don't know any gods on a first name basis around here. Except for Cormac, of course. Have you heard of this Yellow God, Lord Master Morvan? I'm afraid not, my lady. Perhaps this mouse should head to Merida. One million mice ra and rats live there. Nobles, merchants, academics. I am sure one of them can be of assistance. That was going to be my next destination anyway. Very well. Take your leave, mouse. Ah, Sir Verm, wait up. Siobhan, may I have a word? Mingling with blasphemous vagabonds is most unbecoming of a young lady. Stop calling me young lady. You know I hate it. Young lady, you are nobility. Know your place and return to your studies. Studies? Mammy, that Philidae is killing us off one by one, and you aren't doing anything to stop it. Ah, I see, we got some dissension here in the kingdom. Not another word. What would your father have said if he saw you mingling with the vagabond? Well, Daz not here, is he? Siobhan. And she's like, oh, fuck you, mom. That rock-headed child. She thinks herself a warrior. Her father's daughter, all right. Hold your tongue, Blade Master. Yes, my lady. Sorry, my lady. Let me guess. Your mom told you off for hanging around with the strangers. Aw, oh, she's so sad. No. Wait, are you crying? No. I'm not good with this kind of thing. Mammy's so damn stuck up. Ever since Dad died, she's been obsessed with following the old way to the, to the letter. No god tools, no god interferences at all. But what good's that doing us? How does cowering in a burrow help anyone when Tiger's on the prowl? I get it. 
Most rodents would rather hide away than face real issues head on. But you seem like a smart kid. I'm sure you'll make it through this. Wait. Before you go, can I show you something? It'll only take a minute. One minute? Yes, just something in the library. Alright. Lead the way. You know, uh, this game also gives me, like, very hardcore Redwall vibes. Like, I could see Redwall being an influence at the very least. You have anything new to say? Nah. Same old stuff. Same old, same old. Oh, wait. That's not the library. Hold on. I can read. I promise. Are you behaving yourself, Siobhan? I am, Auntie Inogen. Of course. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you be studying? Ah, uh, I should. But I was just going to show this visitor the illuminated manuscripts in the back. Mm-hmm. Stay out of trouble, young lady. Your mother worries about you. I know. Illuminated manuscripts? Just follow me. I'm intrigued. All right, let's go. I'm not interested in some old books. Never mind the books. I've got something better. But you can't tell anyone about this. All right. Especially not Mammy. Sure, whatever. Hey, I'm serious. Promise me. All right, all right. I promise. Ooh, a secret tunnel. A tunnel? I dug it myself. Come on. Well, that's impressive. I wonder how you do that. You kind of pull a Shawshank. A game dude! I forgot about this. A treasure trove, huh? Yep, god tools. I've been secretly collecting and studying for a whole season now. You see this? It's a god's timekeeper. I can't read the runes yet, but I'm getting there. This machine's a fancy god's toy, I think. I watched the young one play with it for hours. It turns on, but the screen's all banjaxed. I've never heard of that sentence. I've never heard that word before in my life. So I reckon it's missing a part. This is all fascinating, truly. But if you brought me down just to show me your trinket collection... Wait, wait. You'll really like this next one. It's a lighter. A Bic lighter? Do you know what this is? I've seen them around. I know they're a common god tool. Even better, a god weapon like yours. I've got it working. Even spruced it up to pack a proper punch. But it's in need of a field test. I... Thought I could use it on Tiger. Give him what for? Maybe save the village. But I don't think I can. Not because I'm scared. I mean, I am scared, of course, but I get it. You do? You want to take that Philidae down, but you know attacking Tiger yourself would be suicide. The other moles in this village just sit on their tails and rant about the old way. So you want me to lend my sword? Right. Pretty much. Could you? Sorry to disappoint. I don't do sellsword work. Sellsword work? I couldn't pay you if I wanted to. The village just flat out broke. I was hoping you would do it, you know, because you're a chivalrous knight. Like I said, I'm not a knight. I didn't come here to do charity work. So go rally the Thimble Guard or something. I'm out. Verm out. Oh! Ah, he's getting Final Fantasy 7 I'm not running away. S Sir Verum? Are you okay? You're really pitiful. You know that? Y yeah, I know. Oh, no, Siobhan. I'll help you. Really? Yeah. We'll go kill that Philidae. You can reap the glory or restore your village honor or whatever. Just make sure to follow my orders. Yes, sir, Verm. To the letter. I'll go wait by the lift. Thank you so much, sir, Verm. Siobhan has joined the party. Cool. Well, at least if it all goes wrong, she'll make for a good distraction. Oh, that's, that's slightly evil, but, like, I get it. Like, I get it. Uh, sell item. So what do you have? So you have, uh, fire wand. Modified for explosive potential and the height of mole fashion, a noble henan. Now, uh, what do you have for skills? Uh, okay, not much. 
Charges up her fire wand for explosive results, so she's a pyromancer. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay, let's have a look around and explore. Oh. The runes are strange. You cannot read godly writing. This device looks complicated, but none of these buttons do anything. Siobhan said this thing is missing a part. I wonder if I can get that working later. I can probably find something, right? Like, I'm, I'm guessing. Can I help you with something? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, just same thing. I assume they all just say the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so by the lift, huh? Can I go back in? I can. Make no trouble, Vagabond. Finish your business and move on, Vagabond. Siobhan doesn't need distractions. Can I help you with something? Nope. So this also kind of reminds me of like the the um, the tapestry in the back. Very much, very much reminds me of Redwall because they have a very similar kind of aesthetic with the tapestry in Redwall. Um. So what can I what can I gleam from this? So you have presumably I don't know what the pink ones are mice. It looks like Rodin fought Rodin or something. And like they burned down a village. This might even just be a reference to Redwall, to be honest. Like burned down a village. Invaders burning down like a mouse village or something. Uh, the little pink mice things get bigger things to like fight for them. And then they go and they worship like some kind of weird like picnic basket or like I don't even know what that could be I'm trying I'm trying to think what that could even be it's like yeah I don't know I, uh, yeah I have no clue what that could be to be honest I'm not really too sure it's very vague I see Oban let's go I uh, know yeah I want to talk to see Oban first come on I'm I'm ready let's do this yeah, let's go. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh. What? What is this thing? It's creepy looking, even by statue standards. It's Cormac, the village's watchful protector. Oh, not doing a very good job, is he? No, I guess he's not. Cormac, the watchful, stares blankly. Save your game. So I can save it him? I can save it Cormac? Okay, that's kind of sick, actually. Your game has been saved. Thank you, Cormac. I don't like the idea of a gnome, like, at all. I don't know. I, I don't hate gnomes, but... I know, man. Let's just say Left 4 Dead 2 gave me a very, very big distaste in gnomes. The warrior mouse returns. And with a mole this time. Don't tell me the little kitty is scared of being outnumbered. Scared. All I see before me are an entree and a main course. Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. All right, we're going to kick your ass, tiger. Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm going to unleash fire and fury. All right. All for, I'm all about this. Get pissed. Light him up, Siobhan. I'm on it. Worm fire. I'm just thinking that's what we need to do. Super. Swipe. Uh, I can warm fire again. Super. Now nah, he's getting weak. Uh, I assume this will do nothing. Yeah, he resists. So he resists Spash. Oh, he's... Oh, shit. He's bleeding me. Okay, um... Can I tank that for a bit? I think I can. Mm. 
Okay, we'll swipe once. Because I'm probably going to need to... Uh, probably bandage. Yeah, I'm going to need to bandage. Probably. Like, it, it'll go away on its own, but I think just to be safe. Oops. And that'll also give me, um... Another thing to do berserk next turn. If this doesn't kill it, okay, it did. Never mind. We're good. I oh, you spit! Oh, Verm, you're such a vagabond. You're such a such a rascal, you. 